Happy New Year, folks. Trisha Curtis, CEO of Petronauts and host of the Petronauts Podcast. It is January 9th, 2024. I am headed to the National Western Stock Show in Denver, Colorado. It is the semifinals of the PBR of bull riding tonight. I am absolutely pumped about it. But we need to get Petro Nerdy at Petro Nerds here for just a minute. And that is because we have seen exceptional volatility in oil prices from Pre-Christmas, post-Christmas, we are in the first nine days of 2024. Um, before Christmas, oil prices were down. We saw after Christmas, WTI hit 75. And now we're back. We saw 70 the other day. Now we're back to 72 and change. We are seeing Brent just above 77. And we're seeing natural gas prices over 3 bucks in MCF. Now, truthfully, we are, we, there's a massive amount of pressure on oil prices, given a lot of concerns within the um, geopolitical environment, and most especially with regards to um, the economy in China. So despite all the geopolitical ailments, the Taiwanese elections on January 13th, the Red Sea, the ship attacks in the Red Sea that are continuing from the Houthis, and a lot of ships actually pulling out of the Red Sea, which means they're increasing their shipping times and their costs to go around and no longer going through the Suez Canal. Um, despite all of that and the ongoing war in Ukraine and the continual war with, with Gaza and Israel, we are no longer seeing, uh, we're not seeing this, this price premium in oil prices, which means several things. One, traders are, are there's a lot of volatility in trading. Um, the traders probably don't really are appreciating the deep geopolitical dynamics at play. Um, and that there's a lot of supply on the market and that the China weakness is really, really serious. We're also seeing serious weakness in Europe and probably already seeing a recession in Europe, which is pulling down on oil demand, which we're definitely seeing in Germany and probably seeing in the UK as well and across Europe. But certainly, I would say 2024 is the year of geopolitical volatility. We're starting out with the Taiwanese elections on January 13th, this weekend, um, which it, we've already seen spy balloons, or as China says, weather balloons cross um, the Taiwan Straits, but actually two of them came into Taiwan, a total of 12 balloons in a handful of days. So we have the Taiwanese election, we have um, a weak Chinese economy, we have two ongoing hot wars, and we have a US election as well. So lots going on in 2024. Petronerds is gonna have you covered, so stay tuned, folks. Talk to you soon and happy new year. Bye.